Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Jank Tank. Today, we're going to be going out of a kind of a crazy way, I guess, of going about this week. Um, since Smoker Coppers wasn't banned, I've been pondering an idea and a concept that I wanted to try it. It went in the poll this week, so we're trying out Ors Off Party in a Copter. That's kind of sweet. Uh, I just kind of like the name of the deck, Party in a Copter. So the point of the deck, of course, is we're Ors Off based, and we have essentially the party mechanic lightly in the deck. Uh, Archpriest of Iona is pretty decent. We have a squad commander as well. So we have some number of, um, you know, party mechanic. And of course we have copter. So all the party members are going to try to get into a copter and, you know, party. So that is the goal of today's uh, deck. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you learn future videos. And if you like crazy ideas like this, let me know down in the comment section because I want to know if you guys want to see more of this kind of content where I just kind of pick a funny name for a deck and then build that as a theme. <laughs> so, we're on our way to a thousand subs. Let's get there together and let's get into the deck list. So the deck list, we have Arch Priest of Iona, which is a decent sized body for a one drop squad commander because it does allow us just to get a full party and make our copter indestructible. We have a decent amount of re good removal in the deck. Push, verse, edict. We have six of them. And the other thing we get is a bob-like card, you know, with pain seer. So like our wizards, most of our wizards do produce card advantage, which is quite nice for the deck. Otherwise, we have Blood, so Blood, Blood Soak Champion, which works quite well with Copter. We loot it away, raid it back. We have um, Visitor. It does have Madness, so it does allow us to cast it after the Copter. Then we have the Raven Man. Kind of a, is a nice way to make Ravens, 1-1s, one that we can use to crew the, for the Copter. And then almost all of our creatures have Inspired. So whenever they untap after being tapped by the Copter, you know, we get a bonus. Sideboard wise, we have three thought seizes for the control matchup where the removal is not as good. Two containment priests we can bring in over some other clerics, along with Relic, uh, Remorseful Cleric. These two clerics are hate type creatures. So either we want to exile the graveyard, priest helps against like creativity, any deck that tries to cheat, uh, transmogrify, also pretty decent. And then we have a damping sphere for Lotus Field. Uh, Magistrate is a wizard. Uh, so it, it does fit the party mechanic theme and also, you know, hates on stuff being cast from exile. So even something simple like ultimatum Lotus field, like they do technically cast those from ultimatum, not from your hand. So they wouldn't be able to cast them three elite spell binders. Also pretty good against those kind of matchups because it's a wizard. And then we also have specialists for an extra copy against heavy removal decks like Rakdos, mid range, stuff like that. And that is party in a copter. Let's see if we can't crush people with the jank deck. Let's get into it. Play a stalker and say go. Lounge. So planes. I want to play paints here. I have never really played with this card. So we'll go ahead and hit you. Say go. Another lounge. Duress. That's a whiff. So put the pathway on black. Play the lookout, go to combat, attack. I definitely probably should play the underdog over the lookout, but... So we're facing some sort of Grixis stack. So we take three, play caves, drop down a copter, and then try to shove for four, or I should say five. Pass the turn, summit. I would love to see a bolus here. Languish, and passes. Play the preacher, crew, and leave a fatal push. Even though I think this might be a control deck. Get rid of the champion. Another land. Tapping out. Double vision. And passes. Play lookout. Crew. That does a point of damage. Then verse that. Smack. Get rid of a champion. Got game one. This matchup seems like a spellbinder matchup. And a thought seize matchup. Down the pushes. We want to keep the verses. So edict out. Uh, black base, so probably specialist is still good. That's cleric. Certain clerics I want to cut. We can get rid of the preacher. That's fine. We'll get rid of the raven. I don't like that. Swamp. Duress. So we courtyard. Champion. 
That was a nice top deck. Does he shock himself? No. Passes. Play a pain seer. Hit you for two. This time he does shock himself. So that means he must mean he has a counter. I don't really plan on using the specialist here, so we'll just go to combat. Shove his Mari command. Creates a treasure. Is this like a Grixis? No, there's too many non-mountains in this deck to be creativity. So it's a black base control deck. I'm thinking. Just passes. Okay. We're going to draw. So I don't have a cleric. Let's just play the Arc Priest. Put that on white and say an attack. We'll go ahead and shove. Say go. Maestro's Charm. Double Visions and Mythos of Aluna. What is he trying to do here? Double copy Invoke Despair? Blood Crypt. Tapped. So that means no languish. Kills the Iona. So we get a Copter. Play that set Copter. Put a pathway on a black specialist. Get back to the Iona. So we have a full party and we shove for five. So we have our we have our we have everything on board. We have a full party and the copter. Party and a copter. One to no. Getting in the next. Ryan taps. They go. So just the headquarters. We play planes. We need to start drawing land, so we'll play Pains here. Hollow Fountain, this must be a control deck. Play a tap land and a visitor. Attack. Planes. Passes. We get to hopefully draw a card. Attack and Numa. So we lose two. That or a verse. That's fine. Play the attack and Numa. Go to combat. Shove. Divide by zero. That happens. Replay the visitor. Say go. This looks like Lotus Field Control. Bant. Supreme Verdict. But it's not looking like that. So we untap. Play the courtyard. Play a specialist. Get back to pain seer. And say go. Impulse. Yeah, so this... The only deck I know that plays Impulse is Lotus. Scrying. Yeah, so this is definitely Bant Lotus Control. Play a squad commander. Get the party going. Shove. There's the Lotus Field. And discontinuity. Okay, so we untap. Thank God, there's the there's the copter. And shove. Pass. Got game one. So we have Thoughtseize. Spellbinder. Down the Preacher. Down the Raven Man. Down the Push. And a Burst. Run it like that. Hollow Fountain. There's our copter. So play a pathway on black. Say play champion, say go. Pathway on green. Scrying. That's the end stage. That means we, we know he has Lotus Field. Play the plane, since I know I can't make any good decisions on that. Play the copter. Smash face. Say go. There's a Lotus Field and discontinuity. So we're going to play Pain Seer. Through the Pain Seer. Stand at Sanctum. Iona. Shove. Say yes. We don't need this pathway. Farewell. There goes our entire board. Stalker. Iona. Play the Tack and Numa in case we need an edict. Say go. Sunset Reveille. That's reasonable. Narset. Goes digging. We will make him sack a Planeswalker. Okay, that's not what I want. I'm going to say shove it both. If he double blocks any, it's still not the end of the world. Impulse. Narset. Goes digging. Champion. I don't think there's a world where I even bother with Narset. Just hit face. Say go. Lockdown. That's problematic. Let's look at your hand. I mean, this hand... Uh, I guess verdict. I don't know. Diane makes a, co makes a copy of the field. Because if I would have took the uh, Deluge, I'd just be kind of helping him. Digging seven. So there's the first Deluge. To Fairy. I basically have to draw something this turn. That's not going to cover beating it to Fairy long term. So bring in the spheres. Go down the verses. Or not like that. Courtyard. I think I Iona. Say go. Because I actually have the ability to do three damage. Shrine. That's a rogue. That's a warrior. Smash for three. Say go. Plays a hollow fountain. Passes. Play Tech and Numa. Drop down a paint seer. And smash face for a decent amount of damage. Now he needs to play an untapped land. I guess lockdown is his only way out. All right, we go to combat. I think I put the, the bonus on the lookout. Since it's the weakest threat. So if he has spot removal. Train you. Divide by zero. So he's a one. I just say go. Keep it in my hand. 
So this probably means Supreme Verdict inbound, which means he kind of just helped me live through a Supreme Verdict. Okay, so Archpriest. I think I kind of just want to Thoughtseize. Take out the Teferi. And uh, we're here to play Painseer because it's the new Bob. Say go. Got it. 2-0. and oh. Let's get into the next. Tap Tone passes. Primarily, we have, primarily we have a black hand, so we'll put Pathway on black. Champion. Say go. Marsh. Is this called Gary Midrange? Fiend Artisan. Play the Plains. Copter. And Shove. Waste. Is this a Glissa? No. Tyvar gets a Stitcher Supplier. Mills more cards. I'm assuming he hits me for four. Okay, we're at 16. Play the Lookout. Crew. I think I just go to Combat. Hit Face. Do I hit Tyvar with this? I think so. I kind of want to bait his Stitcher Supplier. I think the best way of doing that is by going for the Tyvar here. Verse seems irrelevant. So I'm assuming he's going to block here to save the Tyvar. Which will let us edict. Takes the bait. Mill some cards. Each opponent sacks a non-token. Say go. So it just uses Tyvar. Thoughtseize. Take Specialist. Because if you take Iona, it makes no sense. But literally just play Specialist and get it back. Play the Souls of the Lost. Play the Stalker. Iona. And I think I crew with look with Stalker. Keep hitting face. And we will go. Yeah, we'll loop that away. And bring back Blood Soak Champion. So they go. Which, yep, triggers that. So trades in his Tyvar. Probably for Feed Artisan. Or Solo Lost. Which is a two-turn clock. Feed Artisan. And he gets another Tyvar. Of course. Mills some more. Vermin. Mills himself. I think I chump. So I need a wizard off the top. That's not a wizard. To play the champion. Crew. So he, he definitely blocks Iona. I think I just shove with the copter. And go looting, get rid of the Iona. It makes my stalker bigger. So I go. So he decides to shove. I think I block the Iona. He uses Tyvar to untap Soul to have another blocker. Untaps the Fiend Artisan. Assuming he's gonna sack the Vermin. Varlos. Painful Seer. Go crewing. So how does this work? He has to double block here, right? Which means these two one gets blocked, one gets through, but that's not enough to do anything. Attempt to keep shoving with the copter. That actually would have been a nice draw, but we're exactly dead, aren't we? I guess I had to crew with the champion. Okay, that's good. So we want clerics. We kind of want to keep all of our removal. So I think I go down the preacher for the clerics. I didn't really see any reanimation spells. I think we just run it like that. Swamp, stalker, say go. Supplier. So we play copter. Shove for one, say go. Pathway. Weather boom command. Blows up both. That's a good move. Seer, I guess. They go. Urborg. Tyvar, maybe. Soul. Passes. Courtyard is good. First things first, let's push and play the visitor. Shove with the seer. Play the waste and languishes. So, specialist. Return. Visitor. So, I go. Priest. Haywire might. Passes. So, we play the cleric. Seems like a very good card to have here. And then a lookout, which is our sack fodder. Go to combat. Shove with the specialist. Just plays a land and passes. Yeah. I don't think I bother playing any more creatures. Just keep shoving for five. Say go. Draws another land. So we play the attack and Numa. Go to combat. Attack for five. Takes it to four. Say go. Got game two. Run it back. Supplier. Play a lookout. Say go. Priest. Passes. Pain seer. Say go. Seder Wayfinder. Go to combat. Attack with Pain Seer. Takes it. I think I just say go. Leave up the verse. Urborg. Gerard. So I think I want to force him to try to use the priest. Still no lands. Archpriest. So this is a rogue. Wizard. I have nothing else to play, so I guess I'm not up in my party count. I need warrior. We just say go. Is this a languish? Calling ritual. Alright, we just gotta pray that he does not have any creatures to cast. Command. That's not a creature. Plays a land. Come on, just play... Just smack me for 10 and, pay, and pass. Please. Attack a Numa. You can get a 1-drop, but he gets Tyvar. Hits me for 11. That is a land. That's good. 
So we make him sack non-token and play a stalker, say go. So there's the Tyvar. Gets back a soul. Plays as 11-11 feet artisan. There's our warrior. There's our wizard. We say go. Maybe I should have played double rogue. Because this warrior doesn't do anything. Not when he has two lethal threats on board. So he untaps. Ratchet bomb. That is a unique looking ratchet bomb. Okay, Gerard again. Look out. Stalker. Kill the soul. Pass the turn. Oh, that's just lethal though. Even with the Raja Bomb, doesn't matter. You just pay three, sack the Fiend Artisan, and win. Maybe I had to shove the Stoke Champion, but... All right, two and one. Let's get into the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about this deck overall? We ended with a two and one record. Not terrible for a Jank Tank deck. Now, the changes I did make, I did cut the fourth Extraction Specialist on the board and one Elite Spellbinder. Because turns out, like, based off playing this deck... Uh, I really only have room for two clerics to main come in, since Preacher is probably the only card I would consider cutting. Iona is kind of needed in the list. It is an aggressive threat, so I can't imagine cutting a one drop to go for a three drop or two drop. So I cut at least Spellbinder, so that way you could you know directly replace Preacher in the matchups where uh, Elite Spellbinder is better. I think Preacher is just a decent overall main board card. So that's why it's in the list. The other thing I did, like I said, I cut the specials in the board and I added a Shoulder's Edict and I, and I cut the um, Spellbinder for a Fatal Push in the board. So that way, if you need a little extra removal against low, low to the ground decks, you have another push. And uh, against Planeswalkers, you might want to cut the Verses and then go up a Shoulder's Edict. Seems pretty reasonable against Anthosis, so those seem pretty good against Control. Overall, I thought the deck was pretty decent for a Jink Tank deck. If you have any considerations at all for Party and a Copter, let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification before you head out that door. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.